Now then YouTube, I saw a fella put a video up the other day uh, about... No, hang on, he didn't put a video up. He was talking about putting a video up about this. Aero Commander helmet. And I don't think he's had it long. I've had mine quite a while, so I'm just going to do a quick video and go through the good things and the bad things about this helmet. What do you think, Atlas? Well, yes. This this is a lovely helmet. Yes, mm, yes very nice. Do a video. <laughs> right, so... Here's the uh, helmet I'm going to go through. I'm going to start from top to bottom and work through everything that's a positive initially and then go through all the negatives. I'm going to go as quick as I can because I don't like rattling on for every now and then. I've even got a list here on me thing so I don't forget what I tell you. Uh, I was prompted to do this video actually before I start rattling on uh, by a, a lad on YouTube called Motorcycle Adventures. I think he's Polish or something like that. And uh, yeah, if, you, if you're looking at motorbike stuff, have a look at his channel because he's a lot better than me. And he's got some good stuff going on there, so have a look at that. Anyways, um, good things about this. You can change it from a road or a dual sport helmet. So all the um, peak comes off and there's uh, plaggy attachments and stuff to put in place. So it's not, it's not big holes left in the helmet. Uh, and also it's got action camera mounts. Uh, let's have a look. So as per this picture, there's a clippy clippy that goes in the top here. And there's a clippy clippy that goes in the top when you take off all of the peak as well, actually. Let's have a little dibble with it. Let's have a look. There you go. So you can have your GoPro thing mounted on there. You can just clip it on and off, which I think is uh, it's actually pretty good and I've never, I've never used it. So there's a good positive. So I've got camera mounts, next positive, uh, 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 the, vent the, blah, 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 blah. the venting is uh, pretty decent on it, uh, the mouth vent is good, loads of air whistles through there and it's got a bit of foam to stop your mouth filling up with flies and mud and other unsavoury things, there's a little vent over here, I don't know if you can see, little vent, and there's, are they called venturi vents, and it sort of draws out the bottom of the back of the helmet as well, I've wore it in like, don't know what did we got it with 28 degrees or something and it's fairly all right i do sometimes wear safety gags and just have the visor wide open like when it's really warm because that's the biggest vent you can probably get in a helmet uh looks cool man it looks cool man uh, i think when especially from behind the aero logo looks good the profile's good uh my swede's massive this is an xl so it does look a bit big i like a white helmet so i'm visible and not many people wear white helmets anymore, so I think I'll look right cool with a white helmet on. If you think otherwise, you can slander me in the comments. Uh, next one. The visor has a massive clear field of view. You can sort of tell when you look at it side on. You know, the visor comes right round. Uh, and it's nice and clear. It doesn't distort the... Uh, I was going to say the picture. It doesn't distort your, your sight. Um, so, visor's good, massive, and it's great for when you're trail riding because you've got good visibility down over as well which some helmets are feel like you're boxed in because the your, your line of sight's really high up here and you can't really see what's going on below the bike uh next one it seals well around the visor uh i've been in torrential rain for a couple of hours solid and water didn't get in uh it clips shut really securely uh i'm going to get onto that as a negative though later on in the video uh the sun visor, integrated sun visor, uh, works well. It's got a positive engagement and it's got a, again, your field of view is not obstructed and it covers your eyes really, really well. Some of them, I think, they only just to say cover your eyes and you'll know what I mean. You get like a line in your eye where you can see the little bit of plastic, which is really irritating. This one doesn't do that. Oh, my list, my list, my list, my list. Ah. Here's the thing that's good with this helmet, the visor, the uh, clippy points on it, like the, I don't know what, what do you call it, clippy points, opening points, range of motion, range of opening. Anyways, the visor can be cracked up, well it can be left off the catch, I don't know if you can see that, and that just lets a tiniest bit of air in, which is nice. So even with the pin locking, when it's absolutely tanking down and if you're working hard on the bike, it will start fogging up around the edges, so you still crack the visor and also when it's warm, I like to have the visor cracked. 
Um, so yeah, you can have it cracked ever so slightly and you can see how stiff it is. I'm pushing quite hard there and you can open it in slight increments so you can just get a, like the, a nice little bit of airflow, especially around this sort of first click on the, uh, on the visor. And then you've got a few clicky points and they're all really quite stiff. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, if I was to compare this to a Nex, which I owned, the visor's much better on this. The Nex visor drops down all the time when you're riding, especially off-road. So when, you head, when your head's bobbing around, like you, said, you could do that with an X helmet. If you've got one, get hold of it. Tap the chin like that and the visor will just drop down. And when you're off-road, your head is bobbing around uh, like that. So, yeah, the visor's nice. It stays put and it also clips shut really securely. On the ventilation as well, just while I think about the Nex, the Nex ventil ventilates better than this. There's more holes in it and you can just feel air coming across here a bit better. I think this is still good, but the Nex is better for ventilation if that's your main concern. But as I say, you've got a massive vent all here. Just wear some gags underneath and in the summer and you get tons of air coming through your face. Another thing I like, it's got double D rings. It hasn't got a wacky clip. Uh, I think they're the best type of connection and they're easy probably the easiest thing to use once you get used to using them. It's quieter than an X, and it's actually quite a quiet helmet, I think, for uh, a dual sporty type helmet, adventure bike helmet. I don't care about how quiet it is, because I wear earplugs, and to be honest, I think it's just, it's not even on my radar how how loud a quiet helmet is, but I did notice, going from an X to this, huh, it's a bit quieter, but it's not massive. And the inners are removable, so you can wash them. Uh, I think it's fairly lightweight. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If anyone knows why these girls do this, hey, quiet. I'm doing a video. If anyone knows why scales, why scales count down like that, let us know because it annoys you out of me. Sixteen oh six on the scales. That's in grams. Uh, it's got some microphone gubbins in which we're next to now. So say fifteen eighty grams, or for people who like old school measurements. Pounds and ounces, three pounds, eight ounces. 1.6 kilo, we know that already. 3.5 pounds. <coughs> Did I say you can keep barking like that? <coughs> so that's how much it weighs. He obviously doesn't like my video. Negatives, start from the top, working way down again. The peak is pointless, it's too short, it doesn't cover you from sun at all. I like to sometimes, if I, when I'm in the summer, I've got the visor open, I've got my gags on, I'm behind someone, stuff's getting kicked up, and I put my head down a bit like that sometimes. On my necks, the peak, the necks. My necks? <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying my neck. On the necks helmet, the peak's long enough that it actually stops crap and stuff hitting your eyes, and it also protects you from the sun, and it's also adjustable and you can extend it with little extenders. This doesn't do any of that. It just sits still there and it doesn't do anything other than make it look like an off-road helmet. So the, the peak's pointless. Uh, the visor rubs on the water seal at the top, the baffle, whatever you want to call it. And I don't know if you can see, it actually scratches the inside of the pin lock. It's doing it really quite bad there. Uh, I do actually try and keep that clean, uh, but I think the slightest bit of muck on there and you're getting scrap marks all over your visor. It's not really a massive issue to be honest because when you're riding, you're, it's not in your field of view that it's uh, yeah, don't, it's not really an issue, but it's annoying because it shouldn't be doing that really. You think the design is so the baffle clears your pin lock and doesn't scratch the hell out of it. So there's a negative. Oh, actually, while we're on about the on about the main visor, when I was talking about it seals really well, it's so hard to shut that you have to use well, a man anyways. I don't know if this is something that's the same with all these Aero Commander things. It's an extremely strong clipping mechanism. I don't know if they've done that on purpose or when you clip it shut it's not going to ping open when you're off-road or what, but uh, you can't. Sometimes it's, it likes to play ball actually, it's not too bad. But that's so hard that I've got to hold the, hold the mouth of the helmet if you like and squeeze it shut. So that's uh, it's good that the, it's stiff like that. I like that being stiff and secure, but it being really, really hard to shut is a bad thing. But maybe that's why it seals well against water. Negative, positive, make of that what you will. The sun visor, again, good stiff mechanism. But it, I mean, at the moment, it's playing quite nicely. It's still quite stiff, that. So you're riding along and you're pushing it and it's on your head and it actually is you're, you're starting to lift the helmet off your head. Uh, and also when it comes down, when your nose is sort of here, ah, my nose! 
Whoa, that hurt my finger. <laughs> Never mind my nose. So, yeah, it's uh, that's a bit... Whoa, it does hurt that. Whoa. It's your beak anyhow if it catches your conch, which it not often does. It does hurt a little bit. So you just, whenever, whenever I go to shut it, I close my eyes for like a second, like, oh, it's gonna work. Don't shut your eyes when you're riding a bike, it's not the best thing to do. The chin strap is too short. I'll put it on my head and show you actually, but when I've got it on, it's literally like that. I've, I can just get it through and it's just on the edge of that toggle. So they need to make this strap about, I would say, three inches longer and then you can actually... It's really hard when you've got like a... Uh, something on your head for the winter like a balaclava or something you just I can barely get the thing shut and it's really tight on my head so that's a it's really quite annoying actually I wish I could get another strap and just make it a bit longer another thing which is probably relevant to most people but if you're into recording video on your helmet there's my microphone there's that's the only place I can find to put it there's no room there's no room inside here you can sort of sit it in there but it's way too close to your mouth so it sounds like you're heavy breathing uh, it doesn't sound good on a video and there's not much room for cabling either, to be honest. I really struggle just to get this uh, USB cable and microphone cable around the helmet and it's it's squeezing in the uh, cheek pads. Uh, I hope I've covered everything. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask. I'm not gonna ask you to like and subscribe because I think that gets tedious in people's videos. That's all they ever go on about now. So just, I like you to leave a comment because I find that good fun and just give me some stick and I like a bit of crack in the comments. So please leave me a comment. Until next time. Hey, stop chewing your nuts. Atlas, what are you doing? That's a good boy. Say bye. <laughs> Here's what it looks like on my massive Swede. Um, I don't know if you can see the chin strap because that's the main thing I wanted to show you. Ugh. So hopefully you can see that I've literally got nothing left to play with and I've not even, I've got this thing on because I just keep it on now for the COVID, but uh, there's no room left in that strap. But it fits my head. All right, I've got a 60 centimetre head. Squeezes my cheeks a bit, uh, I can't think what else to tell you. Other than it's fairly cheap, I suppose, and I'd probably buy another one, to be honest with you. So, make up my video what you will, and I'll see you again. Ta-ra.